Hey everybody, Conor McDonald here with another quick tip for you. This one is a strange one. I'm going to call it profanity-based naming. Now, what do I mean by that? I thought this was a really cool idea. I worked at a place once where I was looking after some database servers, and the first server I had to look after was one based in Perth, and it was a development box. And when I asked for the name of the server, they said, well, it's per dev 01 development box number one based in Perth. That made enough sense and then when I moved on to a box based in Sydney it was SYD for Sydney dev03 and we had a numeric system for development and the test boxes were called Perth test etc. When it came to logging on to one of the production boxes I tried Perth PRD01 didn't work I tried Perth prod prod01 that didn't work either and I was a bit confused when I actually went and spoke to one of the existing administrators they said yes the box name is Perth BFC B for Barry F for Freddie C for Connor 01 BFC how does that relate to something called production he looked at me deadpan straight into my eye and said it stands for be careful but it actually was true they had had a meeting the admins and decided come up with something that everyone would chuckle at everyone would always have in their uppermost in their mind what a production box was called and it's true every time I logged into that box my first thoughts were be careful so maybe that's a trick here you can use for your naming standards when it comes to looking after your boxes whether they're databases or servers come up with a name it doesn't have to be profanity that makes you pause it might make you pause and chuckle might make you pause and get upset but come up with something that makes you pause the moment you touch one of those precious production boxes. For this client, it was BFC. You might have something different in mind, but either way, it's gonna work for you if something makes you pause, this is a production box. See you next time.